Welcome back to Tiny Predators. Today, we're diving into a lesser known but important topic in the world of infectious diseases, capnocytophaga. Whether you're a biology buff, a pet owner, or just curious, this video is for you. So, let's get started. What is capnocytophaga? Capnocytophaga is a genus of bacteria commonly found in the mouths of humans, dogs, and cats. While these bacteria are typically harmless in their natural environment, they can cause serious infections in humans, particularly when transmitted through bites or scratches from pets. Infections are more likely in people with weakened immune systems and can lead to severe conditions like sepsis or meningitis if not treated promptly. Structure and Morphology of Capnocytophaga Capnocytophaga bacteria are gram-negative, rod-shaped organisms. They are typically slender, with tapered ends, giving them a fusiform or spindle-like appearance. These bacteria are non-modal and exhibit a gliding motion across solid surfaces, which is characteristic of their movement. They are facultative anaerobes, meaning they can survive in both oxygen-rich and oxygen-poor environments, but they thrive best in the presence of carbon dioxide. On blood agar plates, capnocytophaga colonies often appear yellowish or light tan, and they can spread outwards in a characteristic, sweeping, pattern due to their gliding motility. How Capnocytophaga Infection Transmits to Human Capnocytophaga bacteria are primarily transmitted to humans through contact with dogs or cats. The most common modes of transmission include 1. Bites. When a dog or cat bites a person, the bacteria present in the animal's saliva can be introduced into the wound. This is the most common way capnocytophaga infections occur. 2. Scratches. Scratches from a dog or cat can also transmit the bacteria if the animal's claws have come into contact with its mouth or if saliva contaminates the scratch. 3. Close contact. In some cases, even close contact, such as licking by a pet, can lead to infection if the bacteria enter broken skin, mucous membranes, or an existing wound. While these bacteria are commonly found in the mouths of dogs and cats, most people who are exposed do not develop an infection. However, certain individuals, such as those with weakened immune systems, people without a spleen, and the elderly, are at higher risk of developing serious infections if they come into contact with capnocytophaga. How Capnocytophaga Bacteria Causes Disease in Human Capnocytophaga bacteria can cause disease in humans when they enter the body through broken skin, typically via a bite, scratch, or close contact with a dog or cat. Here's how the bacteria cause disease. Entry and Colonization After entering the body through a wound or mucous membrane, capnocytophaga bacteria begin to colonize the affected area. In healthy individuals, the immune system often controls the bacteria, preventing infection. However, in people with weakened immune systems or certain risk factors, the bacteria can multiply and spread. 2. Immune Evasion Capnocytophaga bacteria have mechanisms that allow them to evade the host's immune system. Their outer membrane contains proteins and lipopolysaccharides, LPS, that help them resist phagocytosis. 3. Tissue Damage As the bacteria proliferate, they release enzymes and toxins that can damage surrounding tissues. This can lead to localized infections, such as cellulitis, skin infection, or abscess formation, where pus accumulates in the tissue. 4. Systemic Spread In some cases, the bacteria can enter the bloodstream, leading to bacteremia. Once in the bloodstream, capnocytophaga can spread to other parts of the body, causing serious, systemic infections such as 4a. Sepsis a life-threatening response to infection where the body's immune system causes widespread inflammation, leading to organ failure. 4b. Meningitis. Inflammation of the membranes surrounding the brain and spinal cord. 4c. Endocarditis. Infection of the inner lining of the heart chambers and valves. 5. Inflammatory response. The immune response to capnocytophaga infection can cause significant inflammation, contributing to tissue damage and symptoms like redness, swelling, fever, and pain. What are the symptoms of infection caused by capnocytophaga bacteria? Symptoms of an infection caused by capnocytophaga bacteria can vary, but they typically appear within 1 to 14 days after exposure. Common symptoms include 1. Localized symptoms. Redness, swelling, or warmth around the bite or scratch site. Pain or tenderness at the affected area. Blisters or pus formation at the wound site. 2. Systemic symptoms. It includes fever and chills, fatigue or weakness, headache and muscle or joint pain. 3. Severe symptoms. If the infection spreads, 
it include difficulty breathing, confusion or changes in mental state, rapid heart rate and severe pain if sepsis occurs. What is laboratory diagnosis for capnocytophaga infection? 1. Sample collection. Specimens are collected from the site of infection, such as wound swabs, blood, or cerebrospinal fluid if systemic infection is suspected. 2. Bacterial culture. The samples are cultured on appropriate media, often blood agar, to isolate and identify the bacteria. Capnocytophaga may produce characteristic pale yellow, beige, or light tan colonies. 3. Microscopy. Gram staining reveals the bacteria as gram-negative, rod-shaped organisms with a fusiform appearance. 4. Biochemical tests. Additional tests, such as catalase, oxidase, and sugar fermentation tests, are performed to confirm the identification. 5. Molecular techniques. Polymerase chain reaction, PCR, and sequencing may be used for more accurate identification and to detect specific strains of capnocytophaga. What is the treatment for capnocytophaga infection? 1. Penicillin or amoxicillin. These are often the first-line treatments and are effective against most capnocytophaga strains. 2. Alternative antibiotics. For patients allergic to penicillin or if the bacteria show resistance, alternatives like doxycycline, ceftriaxone, or clindamycin may be used. 3. Supportive care. In severe cases, especially if the infection leads to complications like sepsis, additional supportive care such as intravenous fluids, oxygen therapy, or even intensive care may be necessary. How to prevent capnocytophaga infection? 1. Proper wound care. Clean any bite or scratch from a dog or cat immediately with soap and water. Apply an antiseptic and cover the wound with a clean bandage. 2. Seek medical attention. Consult a healthcare provider if the wound is deep, shows signs of infection, or if you are at higher risk, e.g., have a weakened immune system, are elderly, or have had your spleen removed. 3. Avoiding risky interactions. Be cautious around pets, especially if you have conditions that increase your susceptibility to infections. Avoid rough play with pets that could result in bites or scratches. 4. Pet health maintenance. Ensure your pets receive regular veterinary care to minimize the risk of bacterial transmission. Conclusion. Capnocytophaga infections, though rare, can be serious, especially in vulnerable individuals. By understanding the risks, practicing proper wound care, and seeking timely medical attention, you can prevent severe complications and stay safe around your pets. So, that wraps up our deep dive into capnocytophaga. I hope you found this information helpful and interesting. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to for more insightful content. Have you ever had an experience with an animal bite or heard about capnocytophaga before? Let us know in the comments below. Stay safe, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.